I need to make a correction and an apology. So apology first goes to the US custom agents in Puerto Rico because I said this in our video about cruising with pets. And I grew up in Puerto Rico and the custom agents in Puerto Rico are nowhere near as notoriously corrupt as in other places in the Caribbean. And in Puerto Rico, they were really corrupt. Like, <laughs> I remember when my, when my dad would come back from the VI, they'd check in, and the custom agent would flat out tell them, I'm not clearing your boat into Puerto Rico until you give me one of your fishing rods. And then in the comments, Alberto De Luca brought it to my attention. He's like, he's never heard anything like this from the US custom agents and like, ever. That led me to ask my dad, I'm like, hey, you know, what was the story? Like, cause I'd always understood that when my dad went on fishing trips, that's what happened. Turns out it did happen, but not when they were checking back into Puerto Rico. It happened when they were checking into the Dominican Republic. So the customs agents in the DR would do that whole shenanigans of, I want that fishing rod or I'm not checking you into the country. So it was the DR, not Puerto Rico. So that's the correction. I, I misunderstood it my whole life. So I'm actually really glad that this was brought to my attention. So thank you. Uh, we do read all the comments and I want to have my facts straight. I, I think that knowledge is much more important than uh, whatever the heck you want to call ego crap that some people have. Like I pride knowledge to be tops. When you ask that question in the comment, I then went and asked my dad to get clarification on the story. So had that never been brought up, I would have been super worried when we checked into Puerto Rico because I was expecting crooked customs agents. And then when we would have checked into the DR in the future, I'd have been blindsided because I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it at our last island. So I'm really glad that, you know, this has been brought up and the clarification has been made. And now when we check into Puerto Rico in the future, I don't have to worry about that. Like it's, it's a huge relief because that's, that's actually been a big concern because the whole trip started with let's sail to Puerto Rico because that's where I'm from. That way Maddie can see Puerto Rico. And I was really worried about when we get to Puerto Rico dealing with that. And now I don't have to worry about that. So thank you. Uh, Puerto Rico is like eh, maybe two years away or so. I mean, we still have to do the entire Mediterranean and then the African coast and then another transatlantic. So th there's a bit of time there. But I don't have to worry about that mess in Puerto Rico. So we can enjoy my homeland. So thank you very much. Uh, I know other people in the comments also brought up that issue of they've never heard about this issue with the customs agents in Puerto Rico. Uh, this is all of you guys. I, I am very sorry for that misinformation. And this is my clarification of it. Now... Other thing, last time you guys got to see a corgi going downstairs, and now enjoy a corgi going upstairs. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.